I like how I found most of the upper pieces, if not all of them, without the use of the map. Combat dance was kind of slow. Wish well. How much HP does Matthew have? Six synergy points, by the way. Let that sink in. That means I can cast all the pure wishes that I want. I gotta find a way to get Himi's uh, luck up. Oh, you know what? Didn't know you can go down. I'm trying to find those last two Jenny on the overworld map too. Don't know where I'm looking at though. I love the fact that my team is like overpowered without having to use their synergy, right? Alright, let's get back on our ship and try to see if we can locate uh, the prince and princess. Or I guess technically they're not the prince and princess. They're of the royal family though. Why is the HelloFresh 
above it. <laughs> oh, that's because Hello Fresh Witch is all the way at the top. What's up, Trinetta? How's it going? Thank you for the rain. Welcome on in, everybody. Coming from Trinetta Street, welcome to the Broshi Island. How you all feeling today? Hope you guys are having yourself a great day. I'm great. We're at the end game, essentially, of Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Um, we need to find, I think, one more piece of Umber gear. Um, and I'm just trying to find the rest of the Jenny that I'm having trouble finding because there's like two overworld ones. Um, I think I'm missing like six Jenny altogether. But, eh. <laughs> I'm sure they'll turn up. Um, I forget where I'm supposed to find an important map. Um, that being said, I found most of the pieces that that map is supposed to tell me where, where they're at. So it's like, whatever. You begin murdered by tone berries? Well, that doesn't sound like fun. Especially getting murdered by tone berries. They're little quick little boogers with knives. Don't they like one shot you if they catch up to you? They just like shank you and you die? <laughs> I think that was their that was their like whole MO, right? Where they just shank you once and you're dead. Yeah, I'm completely lost. That's what I'm doing right now. So I've just been wandering. Um, I can't get through here because of the ice. Is that what they're trying to tell me? That's exactly what they're trying to tell me. The ice blocks my path. You suck, ice. But yeah, we've been going strong. We've been streaming this for almost six hours today. Um, I have about 50 minutes or so left before I have to go get my daughter, though, so... We're trying to see how far we can get um, in this. We're definitely going to have at least one more stream of this. So probably tomorrow we finish this. But uh, welcome on in, everybody. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, I am Brochie89. Uh, a Nintendo-based content creator. Um, though I do dabble in a various other genres and games. But mostly Nintendo here on this channel. Um, it's just what I grew up with. Uh, that and Sega, but... Um, right now we're working on our Golden Sun, um, Retro Revive series. Um, we are almost done with the series. It's the last of the three games, um, and we're almost done with this one. In particular. Um, once that is complete, we'll be posting it all on, uh, YouTube. Um, currently we're up to part 14 of Golden Sun 1. Um, on the YouTube channel, so if you guys would like to take a look at that and check it out. Sorry the music's going away because I clicked out of the emulator. Woo. This is the only one that we have to emulate, by the way, was uh, Dark Dawn. Just because I don't have an emulator for it. I don't have the actual game, um, or a way to stream the actual game, I should say. I do have the actual game. Um, it's just, I don't have the 3DS capture card thingy. Um, and the people who make it, every time it goes live, it sells out. <laughs> so, I just haven't been able to get it. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the sub. That puts us at what? 60? 50, 59, or 60 on YouTube. So, we're getting we're getting close. Uh, but, yeah, feel free to take a look at them um, at your leisure. Um, if you like them, definitely leave a, a like. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see more content on my YouTube channel and uh comment if you like i try to check the comments whenever they come in also you guys might not know this um there's a clip on my youtube of me catching a shiny pokemon and pokemon uh scarlet i think i might actually hold the record for the fastest shiny Pokemon caught in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Um, if I remember correctly, I caught my shiny, my first shiny Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I want to say 20 seconds after the tutorial for catching Pokemon ended and they allowed you to start catching Pokemon. I don't know if that can be considered a speedrun, and I should check with the speedrun community thing and see if I can just post that. Is someone there? Hey, hello, anyone? We've come to help. Is there anyone still here? Um, is there anyone still alive here? Please call out. No response. Oof. Oof. 
Okay, so wait, how do I get over there? They're clearly here. Somewhere. Can I go around this way? Stupid shadow beast! They're in the way. They make things take longer. Don't dodge me. Take your beating like a weird shadow scorpion beast. Ah, there we go. We got Rising Dragon. Ah, okay. Here we go. <laughs> we made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. I thought we made it. Where the heck did they sail when they left the sound? But yeah, we're also working on reaching 1,000 uh, followers on this channel as well. We're at 975 now, so we're getting pretty darn close to 1,000 followers here on our channel. And when we hit 1,000 followers, we will be doing a, uh, a subathon. I'm not entirely certain exactly what kind of subathon we're going to do yet. Um, it's looking like it might just be a weekend subathon, and I'll probably do it the weekend of my birthday. Um, that way we can celebrate my birthday, we can celebrate the channel's birthday, um, and celebrate the fact that we hit a thousand. And we'll do like a, a long weekend, uh, long, a weekend long subathon of some sort. I have no idea what I'm doing over here, but it feels like it's important I should be here. We're also looking for uh, <clears throat> a Jenny. Mars or I think Mercury? The names are Sizzle and Foam, so once we find them we know we've we've done it, right? We have all the Jupiter Jenny, luckily. Sizzle attack, pop pop! We had already attacked before Himi gotten back to her uh, position. She's walking around in, you know, Geisha. The White Wolf. I'm sorry, they look more yellow than they do white, but sure. White Wolf. Let's go with that. Oh, wow. By, na by the name of that attack, I assume that means that attack will probably kill. Fine. Let's go. There's got to be something on this island. I'm hoping it's a Jenny, though. Two white wolves again. Oh, but I, say, I, would, I was kind of hoping she was going to use a uh, Rising Dragon. So yeah, how many times did you die to a Time Barrier today? I'm actually curious. I'm really curious about that. How evil will the Time Barrier seem today? Why is that creature's name Skinwalker? What? They could have thought of a better name for the creature out other than Skinwalker. Like, what even is a Skinwalker? Snowdrift Shrine. Ah, okay, so... Is this where the last piece is? Okay, it worked. I didn't think it was going to work. I thought it might actually be too far away. I went up because I thought I could jump over there. I like how he just fell down. Dot, dot. He won't live long enough to even use that buff, by the way. Maybe he will. Nah, he's not. He dodged me, so I was like, well, maybe he actually will. Nah, he's dead. He's dead. I kind of want 
do a Final Fantasy marathon, actually. Play all the old Final Fantasies on top of, like, 13 and all that fun stuff. <coughs> Place looks huge. Sorry. So I need to end up over there. Somehow. What's on the right? Let's go all the way to the right first, because I feel like if we go to the left, that's basically submitting ourselves to that path. Again, I'd like to reiterate, that is not a white wolf. The only thing white on that wolf is his paws. Now, if they said yellow wolf, then I'd be inclined to believe them. This looks like where we shouldn't be, right? Yeah, this is one of those if you fall down type things, right? This one's probably a uh, mimic. To use undead gloom, right? We summon a skeleton and it goes bam! Eh, her basic attack does more damage. I got a heart. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. Our defense on Himi is pretty low. Speed. We'll make Karis fast, right? This looks like it should have been a door, right? La 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 la. La 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 la. Okay, that was down. So if we go up, it would appear that up is where we wanted to go. There's a church just over there. There's definitely going to be a gin here somewhere. I must go this way. That's actually not a bad find. Sweet. Now I can reset it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Somehow we didn't die from that. It didn't even make a boom noise when we landed. Like, we fell a long way. Do da do da do da do 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 do. I'm talking here. What's this one do? Oh, 
Well, that was a waste. Absolute waste. Ah, but I was able to catch the edge of that so I get to reset this one. I'm going to go all the way down. Oh, there's a Mercury Jenny here. Let's go. That's one of the two that we're missing. I think the other one will be a overworld uh, Mercury Jenny. Was that on purpose? Yes. <laughs> it's gonna be mad at me for doing that. <clears throat> yep. I can't blame it. I literally just smacked it right in the face. Double attack! Wop wop! Galley gun! Oh, stun? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Agua? That's what I think it says, and I stick with it. Agua? Geyser! This spirit represents water under pressure and is found at the Snowdrift Shrine. Geyser attacks with a highly pressurized jet of water. Of high quality H2 Izzle. Um, I need to swap. I need to swap Geyser out for... We'll swap them out for Shell, right? Actually, no. I gotta swap them out for a, uh, a, a Venus. Right? Yep. She's now a pure mage. She's got a lot of HP too. And he's a master. Um, so she needs one more Venus and she needs one more Mars, right? Which is basically all that's left, right? In terms of Jenny. Alright, so I need to land in the center there. Okay, 325, so we're getting close to that time. All right, so I think I just walk all the way to the end this time. I mean, it literally has stairs going all the way down. Uh, what? Okay. Sure. Sure. Huh. That doesn't work? Maybe I gotta go further over and then... I gotta go down that end though, that big hole right there in the left. Let's have to find a way down there. There we go. The Phaetons, oh, that's, uh, I know what that move is. So, it's an increase for her. Alright, good job, Hemi. 
Nahimi's gonna be blasting some people. Um, I guess the best way to do this would be to just do retreat, right? Not put myself to it. Alright, so now we're going back up and now we're trying to land directly in the center. I don't even know what's here, if I'm being honest. I just... I came here because we were able. <laughs> Let me check my Jenny cat real quick, too. So we have 77 out of 83, so we're missing six. Um, we're missing two Venus, two Mercury, two Mars. One of each of those Mercury are world mappers, and one of each of those Mars are world mappers. That's not going to cut it. So I can climb down from up above. So I need to hit that center island right there. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard. As long as I drop down the right one. So not this one, not this one, not this one, but that one? Uh, there we go. Got it. And this will take me inside. It's got to be an upper gear. If there's nothing else here, it's got to be upper gear. The goggles. Now, Savetta should have all the pieces of the upper gear. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Unless there's a boot. Unless there's boots for six pieces, she should technically have them all. I don't need to go back down. We just use retreat. We've got everything we need from here. We got the Jenny, we got the doggles. We are done in this place. <clears throat> now we can go save uh, Ryoku and uh, Hoju. Finally. La 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 That never gets old. Watching her do that never gets old. He just rushes up there and goes pop, 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 kick. If I could do that in real life. Then I'd be even cooler than I am right now. Ha, ha, ha. How dare you guys dodge? Shoots a giant dang laser at you. <coughs> and you can't do anything but sit there and take it. <laughs> guys again that's right the dark guys those irritating people I think this should be it right yeah there's a house all the way out here though 
the Iceberg Outpost. Oh, here's the other one of the Mercury Jenny. So there's only one left and it's on the overworld. Unless this is foam, in which case I don't know who I'm looking for anymore. weird right the the audio sounds a bit weird now right in the game or is that just me it's like static or something like that I wonder if my uh, emulator starting to act up a bit Let me do something real quick. I'm gonna save real quick. You've acquired all the Umber gear and necessary to reach the Apollo lens. Find any remaining orbs you need to open the gate to Apollo Sanctum. Yep, so I found all the gear without the map. Go figure. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit out of my retro arc real quick. I am then going to reopen it. And rerun Golden Sun. Dropping a lurk while you eat some food sounds good. Um, we'll probably only be live for about another 20 minutes or so um, because I do need to go uh, get my daughter from the, the sitters at 4 o'clock. Um, but hopefully, we can get another orb while we're waiting. Okay, yeah. The, the retro arc was starting to act uh, wonky, so. Uh, resetting the retro arc seems to have fixed whatever that was. Oof. Don't know what that was. But yeah, enjoy the foods. Actually, I need to get me something to eat when I finish this too. I should have asked my wife if she wanted some McDonald's or something for dinner. I never picked this up some McDonald's because I kind of want to... Uh, some McDonald's fries. I think she already took out something for dinner, so maybe I'll ask her if she wants something for tomorrow instead. Au revoir. Au revoir. Okay, that's rhyme. All right, so we're just missing foam now. The spirited body's crushed ice and is met on an island in the far north. By encasing an enemy must mine in ice, rhyme can seal that foe's energy. So yeah, the last Mercury Junior that we're missing is, uh, Foam. Um, but it's an overworld one, so I don't know exactly where it's at. Should be fun finding it, though. something there. <clears throat> kind of an inconspicuous place. Twelve, twenty, ten, thirteen. Give it to Beta, right? Her luck is kind of low. Alright, let's go in and talk to the uh, the two that should be hiding in the house. I assume. Um, I gotta actually fall through the, uh, the roof. Am 
I supposed to come up here? No, I'm not. I'm supposed to be down here. I go around. Okay. I was like, I forgot how I was supposed to get up there already. I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> I go down chimneys. Nice. Minerva Helm. Do I turn people to stone with it? Raises synergy points. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to push that up, push that over, push this down. Then we go around, push this to the side. Then we go in. I can't see a thing in this darkness. I thought I heard someone this way. You're right, over there. Matthew, is that you? Yes. I thought so. Not the old man. As you can see, Hyozan is in a bad way. He fought off a horde of monsters to protect this place. I thought I'd finish them all, but one was only wounded. I let my guard down. But well, now that Matthew is here, I can finally rest. Heels on. No, you can't die in this forsaken place. I won't let you. You have to hold on until we get back to Sana. Ah, uh, that's a nice dream, but alas, one that cannot be. Heels on. No, don't leave us. There's a lot of death in this game. Take care of them, Matthew. Heels on. No. There's a lot of death in this game. Surprisingly, a surprising amount. I know this won't be easy, but we must ask, do you happen to have an ancient Morgul, Morgul, a Morgul map from Yoku? It's one of my last keepsakes of my father, and I wish I didn't have to part with it. But I'm certain he would want uh, me to help you in any way I can. <laughs> Too bad I don't need it! <laughs> I've already found all the pieces! <laughs> Man, got the Umber map. Now that we found the, um, these two, we should return to Sana. <laughs> Too bad I already have all the pieces! I'm the map. So yeah, this is the first place you're supposed to come when the light uh, starts shining. But if you're like me and you have an exp explorative heart, then you can just do what I did and just ignore everything and completely, you know, do your own thing and somehow still manage to find your way forward. Alright, so, yeah, we have all five pieces, um, now it's just finding the list of the Jenny, right? And the gems. Sorry. They can charge while we're using it. A 
Okay, so, uh, we animate the sauna. I still don't know where the other two orbs are, though. I tried to avoid being in this light as much as I possibly could. Beep! 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 Oh no! Okay, he didn't one hit her though. White Surge! Eat it! I got a lot of crystal powder. Is that Mercury Lighthouse? Chat, I think that's Mercury Lighthouse. Um, let's go ahead and just. Yeah, let's go in for some damage, right? We're gonna use synergy damage. We'll go with Shine Plasma, right? Because it hits everybody. Ball Growth because it hits everybody. Fury Abyss because, I mean, Toxic Grit hits everybody too, so we'll go with that. Plus it might poison them. Poison two of them. Centurion! She's like, step, 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 step. And another sleep bump. God dang it. I gotta go to the store and sell a bunch of crap. Stuff I don't need. So I have to figure out what those orbs are. Not that I don't already know. They're locked behind that area that's the door with the sun keys. Which means I probably don't get that until I get back to Sana. But I hope there's like an indicator on the map that'll tell me where those are at again because I don't want to have to remember where they're at. It sounds like a pain in the butt. Dragon! Wah. Now, if that was Rising Double Dragon, that'd be a dead ghost right now. I mean, an exercise ghost? Because I guess technically ghosts are already dead? Sorry, we're trying to be you know, politically correct here. Rising Dragon! Rising Double Dragon! See? Dead Ghost. I mean, Exercise Ghost. One of these days, chat, I'll remember that Ghosts are actually already dead. Tawn Fawn! Could it be Ryoku and Hoju? Spares be praised, they're back. Could it be? They're both gonna say the same thing, aren't they? I didn't think any Sonnens had made it out of Morgul. What a relief to see Lord Kuan's children. 
It can't be Ryoku and Hoju. That would be impossible. You're talking about Matthew. The impossible is never impossible. I didn't think any Sodens had made it out of Morgo. They all say the same thing. Lane. Um, we're gonna take you to your mom and first, right? Kyoju. I mean, Hoju. Ryuko. Uh, Ryuko. You should go and see Lady Hinich um, Hinicho at once. Her name's. Could it be Ryuko? A uh, Ryuko? It's definitely Ryuko, my bad. And Hugh, um, Hoju. I'm a blah blah! I bet it is that Hyoju. Wait, is she not inside there? Okay, I guess she went inside. Here, maybe? I didn't know we were here. Are you alright? Are you alright, Lady Hinocho? I cannot find it. I must find it. If I don't, the children. It was quite valuable. Perhaps the thief has taken it for himself. Yeah, I did. I stole it. I'm sorry. Ryoku. I mean, Ryuko. Hold you. It's you. Mother. Mother. Oh, we look reunited and it feels so good. Chat, let's get some claps in the, ch in the chat for him. Exclamation clap to everybody in the chat. I'll start you off. And the congratulations. Congratulations. They deserve it, right? They were reunited at last. We're home. You must both be exhausted. Hold you. You were in prison so long. It is a great relief to see you looking so healthy. You're back. I'm so, so glad. Lady Hinacho, we have more to discuss. Will you take them to your chambers? And see that um, they are taken care of? Of course. Shall we? Yes, of course. But I... Never mind. You, we obey, your majesty. Matthew, you and your friends have returned my children to me. I can never truly repay this kindness. My uncle's a generous man. I'm sure he'll give you a reward. Hold you, that was improper. I think I know what my sister's trying to say. We did ask for your help, but you gave it regardless. I thank you with all my heart. You were even a jerk to us. I think Hoju might be in love with uh, Matthew now. It has been a long time since my sister-in-law was so radiantly happy. I owe, you so, I owe you much. Words seem inadequate. The fate of Sada, no, the fate of the whole continent rests with you. Saving the world is sort of a family business for them. I hadn't thought of it that way, but yeah, it's true. But no pressure or anything. We'll make our parents proud. My heritage is different. But I will not fail you. I will fight for balance. And I have to do right by my old man. I am with you. I will pray for all of you. Very well. It, is it time to depart? Lady Hinacho would like to thank you all. She's waiting for you in the annex when you are ready. Uh, we're going to spirit sense him. Just because I'm curious, what is he thinking? With Ryuko, are Ryuko and hold you safe? Lady Hinacho's heart is again luminous and warm. Her light is infectious. My heart shines with it as well. It is such a relief to have them back. Emperor Hunan is relieved that Lord Kuan's children were rescued. Come to think of it, so am I. None of them asked about uh, Hyozan, though. said the annex, but I'm not entirely certain where that is. Matthew, a word. There are things I would speak with you about. Come, to, Please come to my study as soon as you are able. Oh, okay. So we go talk to the mother and then come back and talk to the brother. I'm assuming I just come over here, right?
Matthew, we've been waiting for you. I have... Um, if I spent the next hundred years thanking you for saving my children, it would still seem insufficient. Matthew has saved me twice now. It hardly seems real that I'm safely back home in Sana. This country makes up the eastern part of Asia region. It used to be a fearsome and aggressive colonial power. After Emperor Ko's death, Sana fell into a, de a deadly civil war of secession. Unai was designed... Who designed your name, team? Was eventually crowned. Ooh, excuse me. Thank you for your help, Morgal. I thank you. This has been treasured family heirloom, but I want you to have it as a keepsake of your robes. Lady Moon's ring. We will always live in debt to you, and I will pray for your safe return, just as I pray for my children. And I will be praying at her side. Please come back safely. If I had powers like yours, I would see this thing with you to the end. But I would be distract I would be a distracting bird, so I had I have to ask you to do my share as well. You know, I will say this. Ryoku has definitely I mean Ryo uh, Ryuko has definitely uh, grown up. Boost, defense, and resistance. My mother must like you very much, Matthew. She spoke about you frequently during our exile. Were you exiled, though? Matthew, I know if anyone can stop the grave eclipse, it's you. Blessings go with you on your journey. My lady is laughing, truly laughing. It's been so long since we saw that lovely smile. Both Ryu uh, Ryuku uh, Ryuko and Hoju are back. It's like we were walking from an evil spell, or a good one has been cast on us. Alright, so, I still have no idea where the rest of those orbs are, but I'm assuming I'm about to get one from, uh, old man, uh, um, U Udon or Ufuku or what do you call this guy? Jubla Jubla. <laughs> Won't be going to his study, so, I'll be praying every night for the gods to keep you safe. I'm actually curious what you say in spirit sense for him, so let's see. These adepts are, use unnatural powers that seem monstrous, but they fight for the good of all. She just called me monstrous. Okay. There's something of vital importance that I must give you. But first, let me be clear. You are searching for the Apollo lens, correct? That my, inf that my information was correct. What information? Information from a man who calls himself Arca um, Arcanus. Is this Arcanus from Tuapara? He certainly gets around, so he's been to Shana too? Who is, who is he under that mask? The man from the tower. Arcanus. What is this guy up to? What exactly did Arcanus tell you, your majesty? He said that I would be visited by warriors seeking an end to the grave eclipse. They would be looking for the Apollo lens, a machine built by the agent. And what did he want you to do when this happened? He asked me to give you something. Is it valuable? <coughs> what is the nature of this gift, your majesty? The endless wall stretches thousands of miles. If you look really hard, there you can just make out an Apollo, um, make out Apollo lens from there. In order to raise the ancient machine up out of the ground, you will need three treasures. And we may assume that this is one of them. And what are the other two? Where will we find those? Arcanus claimed you would already possess one of them. The or my brother threw to us. She's right. That must be it. And what about the last one? You must place the two of orbs in the statue to reveal the third. Oh! So we gotta go back to uh, where Hime lives. Or Hime, my bad. And where's the statue? Ah, 
I seem to know the answer. Return to Nihon and visit Uzume's tomb once more. Arcanus was the puppeteer who brought about the Great Eclipse. Why would he help us end it? I've been wondering that myself. At least Himi's prophecy seems to agree with Arcanus. It still could be a trick, though. You seem preoccupied, Cryden. What is wrong? I'm not so sure. I'm not sure. He is. Is he our enemy, or does he simply help us in his own way? He's always been entirely inscrutable. Always. You make it sound as if you know. Um, you've known Arcanus for some time, huh? Do you know who the masked man is, Cryden? Or do you at least have a theory? Out with it! What do you mean? That he helps in his own way. You all apparently have things to discuss. Are you going to tell us or what? I once knew a man. No, that story will have to wait. I understand. You don't want to say until you're sure. After all, he is an adept and might be related to one of us. Ah, if he is kin to one of us, it might prove painful to one of or all if we have to fight him. Okay, we won't badger you anymore if you promise to tell us about um, about it sometime. Perhaps we should get a date for a storytelling day. The day after we stop the Grave Eclipse. Indeed we shall. Emperor Udon, thank you for your assistance. We will endeavor not to let you down. So essentially, we're at true end game. Uh, well, almost. Once we get the last orb, we'll be at true end game, and we can get that by going back to uh, uh, Nihuan. Unfortunately, this is one of those games that really, truly loves to make you back and forth. You have to go to Nihuan to get Himi. And then come back over here, and then go back over there. It's like, 